Are you wondering how to transfer videos from your PC to an iPhone or how to transfer videos back to your Windows PC from an iPhone? Well, in this video, we're gonna run through a few quick and easy ways to do both. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you amplify your business and brand with video. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. Now, whether you've shot your videos on your iPhone or iPad and you wanna edit them on your PC, or you've got the footage saved from your camera on your Windows computer, but you wanna edit them on your iPhone. The process to actually import or transfer the files between your PC and your iPhone or iPad is unfortunately not as seamless as you might hope. But the good news is that there are actually a few easy ways to do it. So in this video, we're gonna run through the options that I'd recommend that'll have you covered no matter what your circumstances. Now just a heads up that there are actually a couple of different options that we're gonna cover off here, and you might find that one of them works particularly well with your work. Workflow. So I definitely suggest sticking around to see all the different options available before you jump off and put it into action. Okay, so we're gonna start off with getting your files off your phone or your iPad and onto your computer. So the first way we're gonna look at is using the cable that came with your phone. So you wanna plug your phone using the lightning cable into a USB port on your computer. Now it may pop up straight away saying that you need to trust or authorize the device. So make sure that you accept that. And then all you need to do is open up an Explorer window and come over to this PC. And then you can open up their Apple iPhone. So double click on that. Internal storage. DCIM 100 Apple and here are all your photos and video files on the phone so to get them off all you need to do is select the ones that you want and you can just drag them into the folder that you want or drag them somewhere like your desktop and they'll start to copy off so really straightforward now, if you don't have your cable with you or you want to transfer them off using Wi-Fi then if you go to the App Store and install the VLC for mobile app with that app installed you just want to open up then the photos app and hit select and pick the photos or the videos that you want to transfer to your computer. So just tap on the ones that you want. Let's press these five. Now we'll go share down the bottom left. And here you want to pick save to files. We'll go through and prepare your files to copy them over. And then you'll just want to pick the VLC folder and choose add. And that shouldn't take long at all because it's just copying the files internally into that VLC app. So now when we go back to the VLC app, you can see that we've got these files here in it, ready to go. So now that we've got your files in there, you do wanna turn on one more setting so that we can access those from the computer. And so let's go back up to that marker cone there in the top left-hand corner and make sure that sharing via Wi-Fi is selected. And you'll see that it's got a web address there, 192.168.86.23. That might be different depending on your actual network setup. But what you wanna do is type out that web address into your desktop computer. Now, both your computer and your phone will need to be on the same network, but they don't necessarily need to be connected via Wi-Fi. So your computer, if it doesn't have Wi-Fi, this is still gonna work as long as the two are connected to the same network. So if I open up my web browser, I will then type in that address and that'll open up that app on our phone as a website where we can directly interact with our phone. And you see here we've got the option here to download those files that are in there. So then it's just a matter of picking the files that we want. So this one here, it'll start to play, but we can pause it. So then we just right click and choose save video as, and we can choose where we want to save it to. So maybe here just under downloads, hit save. And that's going to happen pretty quick because it's not going over the internet. It's just talking direct to your phone. So if we open up downloads now, there's the file there. So that's how easy it is to get your files and photos and things off your iPad or iPhone and onto your Windows computer. Now to get the files back the other way, the process is pretty similar, but depending on the app that you want to use these files in, the process can be a little bit different. So the first method I'm going to show you is using iTunes. Now for this method, you will need to have your phone connected to your computer again with the USB to lightning cable that came with the phone. So once you've plugged in your phone, open up iTunes. Now you may need to grant access or give permission to your phone again to allow it to connect. And what you want to do is click this little picture of a phone here. Then you want to come down to file sharing. And you can see in here that we've got a heap of different apps, DJI Go, 
iMovie, Fonto, all of these apps here will have something to do with video or photo and editing and playback. So these apps here, you can actually directly import the files straight to those apps for use in it. So all you need to do is either pick the app that you want. So for us, we'll just pick iMovie. So you can either then drag and drop your files into this window or you can click add file here. But our files are right here on the desktop. So let's just grab these files here and drag them over to this area. You can see when we let go, the files start copying over automatically. So this will work with any audio files, video files, or any photos or anything that you want to use in your iMovie app. So once the files are on the actual phone, we'll jump back over to the phone, open up iMovie, and then down the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see this download or import button. So press on that, and then select iTunes down the bottom and we've got there import five files. So when we press that, it's going to bring those five files in that we just imported from the computer and drop them into a new iMovie project. And you can see it's even created a timeline there with all of those clips ready to go in it. So that's how you can import your files directly into an individual app. So the same would apply if you want your files in LumaFusion to edit your videos in that. So now if you wanna transfer your files back to your phone, over the network or over Wi-Fi. Then the process is almost exactly the same that we ran through earlier using VLC. So make sure that you've got the VLC app installed on your phone. Open up VLC, click the little cone in the top left-hand corner and make sure that sharing via Wi-Fi is enabled. And then over on your computer, you wanna open up your web browser and type in that same number. And then to send your files over to the phone, you can just drag and drop them into the window here, or you can come up here to the plus button to pick them manually. So we've got them here on the desktop. Let's just select these files and drag them onto the window here. And you can see that they are transferring over wirelessly. But again, your computer and your phone will need to be connected to the same network. So now back on the phone, inside the VLC app, we can see that we've got those files there that are now on our phone, but they're still inside the VLC app. So in order to use them in any other app, we need to save them out. So if you press edit in the top right hand corner, select all the files that you want to use there. You can just press select all at the top. And then down the bottom left hand corner, you can see the share button or the export button. So if we press on that, then we either get to choose to drop them directly into the apps that we want to use them in. Like you've got their copy to LumaFusion, copy to iMovie, and then they'll be able to be accessed inside of those apps. Or if you just want them into the photos app, then you can just press save five videos because we've got five videos selected, which is in the bottom left hand corner. And then just hit okay to give VLC permission to copy the files into your photos and it's done. And the third option is to use a cloud-based platform. It could be iCloud, it could be Google Drive, it could be Dropbox, but the idea is that you share your files out to one of those platforms and upload your files to the cloud. And then on your phone or on your iPad, you open up that app for that service and you download those files back to your device. The biggest downside with this method though is obviously your internet bandwidth. And if you're gonna be moving large files up to the cloud and then downloading them back to your device, it could take a really long time. So depending on your workflow, type of videos you're creating and how you're actually shooting your videos, this might be the method for you. Okay, so those are my top recommended ways for transferring your files between your iPhone and your PC. Now, if you are looking to edit your videos faster, then check out the video linked on screen now with our entire video editing process, step-by-step -step to help you edit in the most efficient way. And if you're interested in editing videos on your iOS device, then check out the other video where we cover off our top recommended apps. And I'll see you soon.